90% of editors don't know this. Iman Gadget editing style is actually really simple and all it really takes is 10 minutes to master his editing style. So I will simply break it down in 4 simple steps so you can also learn this style. The first step is by far the most overlooked one but it is the step that will make or break your edit. You can have the best animation in the world but if your assets aren't good enough then nobody would care. Iman's editors always make sure to use high quality illustrations with a consistent style because it really adds to the overall quality of the video. But don't worry, you don't need to search for hours in the internet to find good looking assets because you can generate them for yourself with AI. Head to this free website right there. Now that you're there, click on image creation. And now you're gonna pick a style. You're gonna have to select anime. Now you're gonna pick a preset style and you're gonna select semi-realism. Simply make sure that the picture will have a 16 by nine ratio. Now what you're gonna have to do is simply write a description of the picture that you want and then you're gonna have to click on generate. Now simply choose your picture and download it inside of your computer. High quality assets are good, but it is really useless if you don't apply this next step. The base is basically just masking and placing your assets. And if not done properly, the edit won't look as good as it could be. As you can see, in Iman's video, the characters and the background are not in the same layer, which gives us this feel of depth when the camera is moving. Let me show you how to do it properly. Import your picture inside the Photoshop, and once this is done, what you're gonna have to do is simply select the areas that you don't find necessary, like these two monitors right there. I'm simply gonna click on Generative Fill to get rid of them, and I'm gonna merge the layer with my original picture. So the next step that I will have to do is simply separate the desk and the character from the background. So I'm simply gonna use the Pen tool, and I'm gonna draw all over my characters and the desk. And I'm simply gonna click on Selection, and click on Ctrl C and Ctrl V to make a copy. As you can see, and the character is separated. Now what I have to do is simply delete the character and the desk from the background layer. So I'm gonna select the background layer, make a rough selection around the character and the desk, and click on Generative Fill. Now as you can see, the background is isolated. Now what I'm gonna do is simply import everything inside of After Effects, and as you can see, the layers are already separated. Now what I'm going to do is simply create a little diamond shape thing. Make sure that the fill is not enabled and make sure that you have a strong enough stroke. Now simply click on R to pull out the, the rotation properties. Rotate it to make a diamond shape. Now what you're going to have to do is simply put whatever you want inside of the diamond shape. I'm simply going to put a little text. And to add a little glow effect, what I'm going to do is simply add a drop shadow effect. And I'm simply going to turn the color white instead of black. And I'm simply going to do the same with the text. Setting up the base is half the battle done. But the next step will make the difference between a pro editor and a beginner. Animating your assets will bring your animations to life and make the whole edit 10 times more entertaining. Subtle movements are enough to keep the audience hooked and Iman's editors uses them all the time. And all it really takes is a bunch of keyframes and a little bit of tweaking. So I'm gonna use the puppet pin tool and I'm gonna add a pin to the head. This will be the main pin to move the head. And as you can see, when we move it like that, the whole picture is moving which is not what we want. So just add some pins to where you don't want some parts to move. And as you can see, if you test the head movements, nothing will move around. And now what you're gonna have to do is simply make a little animation of the head movements. Now simply click on U to see all of the keyframes of the pins. Simply make sure that the animation loops by copying and passing the keyframes all over the composition. And don't forget to select all of your keyframes and click on F9 to make the movement smoother. Now what I'm going to do is simply animate the diamond shape, so I'm simply going to click on R and I'm, and I'm simply going to add some keyframes to make a little animation that is really 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 simple. And I'm just making sure to have a clean graph so that animation can be as smooth as possible. Animating your assets really enhance your edit, but it is really nothing if you don't apply the following step. Using the 3D camera to add movements and depth to the scene really changes everything in the video. There's a reason why Iman's editors use it every time in every single one of their animations. And to be honest, it sounds more complicated than it actually is. So I'm gonna right click on the layer tab, I'm gonna click on new, then I'm gonna click on the camera. Now I'm simply gonna put all of my layers into a 3D layer. Now some of my layers disappeared, it's completely normal. So I'm simply gonna go on one view and I'm gonna select two views. And I'm simply gonna make sure that we are in custom view one. Now what I'm going to do is simply select my background and I'm going to push it all the way to the back 
and I'm gonna scale it up so it can fill up the frame now I'm also gonna select my character I'm gonna push it slightly and I'll also select my diamond shape and simply position it into the 3d space now that everything is positioned in the 3d space we don't need the two views anymore so I'm simply gonna switch back to one view now what you're gonna have to do is simply create a null layer you're gonna have to turn it into 3d now you're gonna have to parent the 3d camera to the null layer and now you can actually start moving the 3d camera with the null layer so now I'm simply gonna make a simple animation with two keyframes the camera will simply pan to the left and for the diamond shape I want the animation to be a little bit later in the composition so I'm simply gonna put it right there in the middle And I'm simply going to add a position animation. So I'm going to click on P. And I'm going to add two keyframes to make it seem like it comes from underneath. And I'm simply polish the animation a little bit. So it can look as clean as possible. And this is what it gives us. It's pretty clean, right? But there's something I didn't tell you at the start of your video. Immense editors are not only using After Effects anymore, they are actually upgrading and they are creating complex 3D scenes for this video. And almost nobody break this type of 3D scenes down, but I will. So hit the notification bell to not miss the breakdown video because 3D is a skill that will bring you thousand as an editor if used correctly. So I'll see you there.